Article 17. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $385,000 for the purchase of a replacement backhoe, a front end loader, and a street sweeper for the Department of Public Works with the replaced vehicles to be traded in if deemed to be prudent by the Public Works Director, the Town Manager, and the Board of Selectmen, in which event the trade-in values would reduce the amount having to be raised by taxation. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32,7 Roman 6, and will not lapse until the vehicle purchases are made or by March 31, 2015, whichever is sooner, majority vote required, recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0, Recommended by the Budget Committee 10 to 2, the fiscal impact note, the estimated 2014 tax impact is uh, 14 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 17? Moved by Mr. Plouffe, seconded by Ms. Woolsey. Is there anyone wishing to be heard on Article 17? Mr. Plouffe. These pieces of equipment have served a useful life and it would be in the be town's best interest to replace them so that we can do our jobs and function at Public Works, and I think the Public Works Director might have a comment or two to make on these. Thank you, Mr. Pluff. Mr. Noyes, you wish to be heard on Article 17. Good morning. Uh, Keith Noyes, Public Works Director, and uh, I agree with Slockman Pluff. Uh, one of the things that we have done since I came on board with the town is we went through and evaluated all of our pieces of equipment, which we've got a, a, quite a few, um, in order to come up with a long-term replacement plan that would uh, replace vehicles and equipment as they're, uh, when they should be replaced, when we get the most cost effectiveness out of them and also the best uh, uh, value for, for trade-in value, which we normally do. But the other thing that we focused on also was to avoid any huge spikes in replacing equipment so that we're not having, say, one year or two years where we're spending two or $300,000, but then that third year we have four packers to replace and we're looking at a million dollars. So we've tried to level that off, and I can just assure everybody that, you know, these are three essential pieces of equipment that's used uh, for the town and uh, we really do need them. So I do appreciate uh, the community support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Noyes. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Moody. Art Moody. <clears throat> These uh, three pieces of equipment, vehicles, with the replaced vehicles to be traded in if deemed to be prudent by the deep public works director, the town manager, and the board of selectmen. Why not? Or I think the I think this surplus property ordinance or auction. And why is it if they need to be replaced? Why are you possibly keeping them? Get rid of them. And it should be our auction, but I'm not making any amendment. Thank you, Mr. Moody. Mr. Noyes, you wish to be heard. Thank you. The way that we put the bids together is that um, the bidder gives us the option of, of a value for the trade-in, which gives us an opportunity to evaluate um, the economics of using the trade-in or we could go for uh, auction if we don't feel that we're getting a fair market value for that equipment, which we can check out just as various sources of, of ensuring that we're getting the fair market value. As far as holding on to the equipment, uh, one of the things that I'm trying to do is reduce our overall inventory of rolling stock because every piece of equipment that we have on board costs money to maintain, ensure, just take care of. So in order to try to cut cost overall, in fact, we're work, doing a lot of work in public works to share equipment in between divisions uh, so that we don't need three loaders or three backhoes. Maybe we can get by with one or two, but having the division share the equipment rather than just having everybody uh, have their own piece of equipment. Thank you, Mr. Noyes. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 17? 